Welcome everyone to our Christmas Mass here at Holy Cross Preparatory Academy for our students, our faculty, and our alum. Today we do celebrate the Nativity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, God becoming man in order to save us from ourselves, our sins, and open the opportunity for salvation to all to be with our Lord and Savior forever and ever in the Kingdom of Heaven. And so let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature, and still more wonderfully restored it, Grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom. A light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pull of their shoulder, and the rod of their task, task made master, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot and tramp in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains, by judgment and justice, both now and forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. They shall exult before the Lord, for he comes. 
for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice, and the peoples with his constants. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all, and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness, and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I proclaim to you good news of great joy. Today a Savior is born for us, Christ the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinus was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was the, of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothing and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in the region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothing and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those to whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. So here we are celebrating Christmas 2020, a very strange time for many of us who are confronting things that we never had to confront before, whether it be in our health, in our employment, or in our education. And you know, for many people, this is a dark time. But we have to remember that the entire point of Christmas is to celebrate the light that comes into the world. That is Christ, God incarnate. He is the light to the world that leads the way to salvation and the kingdom of heaven. And for the last few weeks, we have been celebrating the season of Advent, and most people know the image of the Advent wreath, and it has the four candles around it, and in many cases, the one in the center to represent Christ. And it begins, of course, with no lit candles. It is in complete darkness. And with each week a candle is lit, it becomes brighter and brighter. And on the third Sunday of Advent, we celebrate Gaudete Sunday, Joyous Sunday, because there is now more light than darkness. Three candles of light and one of darkness. And then we rejoice ultimately on Christmas Day, in which the ultimate light appears. Christ himself, who becomes one of us for our sake, not for his own sake. And 
seeks to save us from our own ways, our sinful ways, to enable us to live good and righteous lives that we may be with him forever in the kingdom of heaven. And so I really want you to remember that, that even in this time that may seem dark to us, that may seem to have no straight path, Christ is still with us. Christ has entered and is in our lives each and every day and is the light that we must follow. Of course, we like to think of this season as a time for giving and sharing and being with family and friends. And while that's a wonderful sentiment in the end, the true meaning behind Christmas, the Mass of Christ, is for us to remember what God did for us and continues to do for us. Not for his sake, but for our sake, for our redemption, our salvation. And that he is always the light that we should follow, especially in the darkest days of our individual lives, of our community, our nation, and the world. He is always brightly shining, always. We just have to look towards him. We just have to follow him and hand our lives over completely to him. And it will work out in the end. It may not be on our schedule, in our way, on our time, but that's okay. God so loved the world that he gave his only son into the world, not to condemn it, but to redeem it. That's the purpose of what we celebrate now. And we have to remember that. Keep focus on Christ, Christ the light, for you individually and for all those around you. And in doing so, surrender your life and your commitment and you will be saved. That is the ultimate gift that we are offered for Christmas. Nothing else that we can receive materially can ever compare to that. Eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. So remember that Christ is the light. He offers us this gift, this gift for ourselves and for us to share with those around us. And in doing so, we will be with him forever and ever. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We now offer our petitions to the Lord our God. For Pope Francis, our Bishop David, 
for all the clergy and for all the people entrusted to their charge, that they may all work towards the salvation of souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all elected officials and those who work with them towards the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for Holy Cross, for our students, for our faculty, for our staff, for our alumni, that they may have a joyous Christmas, remembering and focusing on Christ the light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all of our deceased alum, that they may be at peace with God at the eternal banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those that are being affected by the coronavirus in health, economy, and education, that this may be passed as soon as possible and that we recover our health economically, physically, and educationally. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer and for those prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day, when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight, and that you inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that, as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts, 
we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the diocesan wave. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world born this day is the author of divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the God of infinite goodness who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world 
and by, the, by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy day, drawing far from you the darkness of vice, and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. May God, who willed that the great joy of his Son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives, and make, the, make you heralds of the gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor, favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.